Welcome to Drive, a show curated by the students of Cary High and produced by Shaw. Today, our host will be myself and this beautiful boy, Hayden. What are you doing? This is my show. Like hell it is! Get him. Today, our host will be me and this beautiful boy, Hayden. That's right, Sky, I mean, Kurt. As you all know, we are entering the festive season, and we thought it would be nice for us to make you um, some good quality festive videos. Come on. What does Christmas mean to you? Family time and a little bit of time off of school. Um, is there anything that you're expecting for Christmas or that you, you want? Not really, no. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Are you excited for Christmas this year? Definitely. It's November. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what does Christmas mean to you? Getting lots of presents. It's kind of a bad answer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. What does Christmas mean to you? What does Christmas mean to me? I'm not sure. It means God. It means, I don't know. Do you believe in God? No. Why would you say that? I don't know. Because I'm nervous. <laughs> God bless you. Have a good Christmas, sir. That was a good clip. I enjoyed the festivus. Break up. Spin it. I enjoyed that clip. <sighs> Me too. It was really moist. Rad. Dank. Bad. Poison. Wizard. Roll it. I'm stressed. I am math. <laughs> math. What about math? I have homework that needs to be done. Doing all right. It's going well. It's a, it's a, like I mentioned to you already, it's a happy morning to see all my students actually know what to do. Why do you think school is stressful? Because they give us a lot of work <laughs> and we're tired and we don't want to do it. And we don't like it. Because of the workload. 
and the teachers are always very like pushy on getting that work done but then there's the teachers that aren't and then it's like weird oh i think school is stressful because we are trying to as adults prepare you for what we would all call the real world I don't. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, I don't want to deal with it. I don't deal with stress. I, um, I do see a counselor, but I normally bottle everything up inside and then I cry and eat food. I either go to sleep or hang out with my close friends. Um, how do I deal with stress? Um, I do my very best each morning, Andrew, to make a bit of time for myself where I just go very, very slowly. Um, I find if I check in with myself and slow my day down before it even starts, I can find out how stressed I really am. Do you have any advice to people who struggle with stress? Don't overthink things. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not fun. Um, see a counselor and talk to people. Perhaps, like, talk to your teacher about lessening homework if that's what's making you stressed. Um, talk to everybody that you can. Somebody's about to listen to you. My advice to people who struggle with stress is, first of all, to admit it's a real problem, um, privilege a bit of time for themselves, that they could take 15 minutes to just do nothing. I know it seems strange to advise people to do nothing, but just enjoy having some time not listening to music, not being distracted, but just experience themselves just being quiet. Don't put a lot of homework on us. It's not fun. <laughs> no one likes it. <laughs> I said that before, but no one likes it. Maybe not have three hours of homework for each class, especially if you have all academic courses in one semester, because that would just, that would kill someone. We could have longer breaks, but longer school days, or start school later and end school later. We can take some steps as a school. Um, I think this documentary is a fun place to start that we can talk about the fact that stress is real. Um, like I mentioned, my own simple strategy of just quiet, um, making that part of a schedule for students in a block, for a teacher in his group, uh, for our school, for students to learn these skills. So how would you say the school system has changed to accommodate stress? It hasn't at all. <laughs> I don't think it has changed because like we still have so much homework and that's mostly what stresses people out from the people that I know and talk to. It's probably gotten even more stressful since everybody wants to go to college and everybody has the high expectations for college and university. I think the, the idea of letting students learn at different speeds, Andrew, is a really important step. Um, the FLEX program here at Cary High, for example, enables students for whom working on their own and taking a bit more time is a better choice to get credits. Um, an English course, for example, you can do in the FLEX program. And by doing it that way, you could choose when you're going to work on the homework. You can choose how long it's going to take you to complete the homework. That puts the responsibility in your lap, but you also get to choose to do it at your own pace. Yes. Boy. Easy.
Roll the clip. What is this? Is this like a box of poop or something? What the heck? No. Uh, okay, uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, why is this here after I treated you so badly? Because for many people, Christmas is come so. They don't have extra money to buy their parents, their parents' gifts, children, or even family. Many years back at Christmas time because they can't think of their loved ones coming over their house. Their kids may only be a whisper so. All right, that was quite good. What did you think, Kurt? What did you think, Skylar? We would like to thank Shaw for letting us film here. And a special thanks to Chaz. This man, this man is like no other man. Chaz is a very special person, and we'd like to give thanks to that for letting us use his studio and have many happy years in the studio. I'd also like to wish everyone a happy new year. And with that, I bid you farewell and good luck. Welcome back to Drive! And this is going to be our last episode. Only for the 2016th year, so ne see you next year. So to commemorate this day, we'll be showing off our first holiday...
What? That wasn't even Christmassy, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, etc. What? Well, uh, isn't 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 this the Halloween episode? No. What? what? This is like the Christmas or New Year's themed episode. Oh yeah. <sighs> well, then. Yeah. I thought we weren't going to be wrong for a while, you know, due to the jackhammer accident. Just a. Don't worry about the jackhammer accident. Jackhammer accident? Yeah, jackhammer accident. Jackhammer. Jackhammer. Anyways, this is the whole next clip. <laughs> Tom. By the numbers, boys. Don't leave me hanging. Armed and ready. <laughs> games do you play and what are some positives of playing that game? Well, lately I've been playing uh, Overwatch, uh, Gary's Mod, where, but since Gary's Mod has so much game modes, uh, <coughs> sorry, I say it, <laughs> uh, Overwatch and Gary's Mod, where most of them have like social and team aspects on the Gary's Mod's game modes that I play, where you have to work together to complete objectives. What's mine? Objective A captured. Commence attack on Objective B. Hello, I'm just going to ask you some questions about gaming. What games do you play? What are some positives of playing that game? Rainbow Six lately, and I think the social aspect of the game is uh, very beneficial because it gives me a way to connect with some friends that I didn't that I wouldn't otherwise be friends with and I think that's a positive aspect of playing a game. Games. Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, and Overwatch. Can you explain what type of games those are and what type of strategy is required for those games? Overwatch is a first person shooter cooperative teamwork game. So teamwork is good, but some people don't like to use teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you mentioned uh, Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Those are just like really hard games, which you just need a lot of skill for. from video games? Video games? Um, oh, just that, just keep trying, trying again, if you lose, that's all. <laughs> What have you, what are some like life skills that, have you, that you have learned from video games? Well, I played video games for a long time. My dad got me into them and they made me more kind of a social person. This gave me more of a topic to talk about with other people. But also it gave me a big sense of imagination and creativity. Oh no. In the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. <laughs> Would you say that uh, video games are beneficial to real life situations? Um, I'd say it gives you more than one way to look at a problem and maybe solutions you wouldn't otherwise think of. I'd 
looks like killing my brother while he was invincible during Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was pretty fantastic. Reload. I think he's behind that damn couch. Do you can you explain for yourself? That wasn't even anything. I it was something. It, no, it wasn't okay. anything. It was a video game thing in in November. Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh. Do we even have a Christmas clip? I maybe. I, you I, don't even know. I well. You were in charge of this. Yeah, I, I I I I I get your mat. Your mat. I get it. I get it. Oh, I, Christ. I just deep breath. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. No, sir. No. Sir, I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, okay. Do uh, just play the next clip. Okay. Before I go crazy. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Oh, please have snow. Yeah, I told, yeah, I did good. Did you not even know that was going to be Christmassy? I, 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 it was like, it was like Nope, that's a no. Um, All right. Well, well, anyways, this might be the last clip of 2016. Oh! 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 Oh!